Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. And in this reading, I want to focus on Amberlynn Reed and mostly Feline. I kind of want to peek through the blinds of Feline, see what she's feeling about. Yeah, she feels like this woman. Keep your name out of my mouth. Why don't you focus on what you have instead of what you lost and stop being such a hot mess. All right. It's a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. But let's ask some questions and see what the cards have to say. And if you're not already and you want to support what I do here, please consider subscribing. Thanks, guys. Love ya. And now let's see if we can peek through the blinds of Feline's mind. Show me, um, how is Feline feeling about the fact that Amber Lynn will not shut up about her. It will not keep her name out of her mouth. How does Feline feel about, about this? So, Seven of Wands is what we start with, which is an energy that feels like defensive and like it has to protect itself. This Eight of Sword is the person that is like stuck, bound to things in the past. The Ten of Sword, feeling betrayed, and then we have strength here. This has to do with willpower, inner strength, and also trust. So, Feline could feel like... Part of her could want to actually defend herself. Um, she could feel like she's moved on from, from the past, but, like, Amber Lynn will not let her. She could feel like the reason Amber Lynn will not take her name out of her mouth is that's Amber Lynn's only power. That Amber Lynn feels so betrayed by by Feline, okay, because of the way things worked out between them. Mm, Feline could feel like like all she did was try to be a friend and that like rock for Amber Lynn, and that she's been betrayed by Amber Lynn from the beginning. That this is also like we put our our hand in the mouth of the lion. And we trust it's not going to bite us. And I just heard, like, yeah, I got bit by the hand, you know, the hand that feeds me. So she could feel like, did I spit that out right? She could feel like Amber Lynn just in their relationship and currently continues to bite the hand that feeds her. That's how she could feel about that. Show me, how does Feline feel about... The relationship overall that she had with Amber Lynn. Yeah, see, there's the tower again. She could feel like the whole time she was like the energy that, that took care of things. That she was expected to be like the stable energy. She could have even felt like, what am I, your father? All right? Um, and that Amber Lynn, you know, she's a hot mess. She was a hot mess in their relationship that she has no... no the fact that um, Feline may have always looked at Anne Boleyn like this is a broken person. In the beginning when they were in the connection, she actually could have felt bad for her and wanted to or didn't have a problem with being this type of energy. A, like a nurturing, dependable, father energy type of thing. Because Anne Boleyn didn't have that, she, Feline may have actually tried to be that for her in her life. To help her on her healing journey. To find her strength. Anne Boleyn, you know. Um, but then at some point realize, like, this, this person's a hot mess. Like, they come from a broken place. And they don't want to build a solid foundation. Not with me. Not with anyone. Because in order to build a solid foundation with another person, you have to start with yourself. Alright. So. What is Feline feeling about... In general, like, the relationship that she did have in the past with Amber Lynn. How does she feel about it currently? How does Feline feel about that? Well, she could feel like... Like a sense of relief that she got away when she did. This is um, the Six of Sword, and this represents an energy that is escaping to a better day. 
We have an Ace of Swords here and the Magician. So, Feline could feel like... Again, general reading for entertainment purposes only, okay? But I just... I, I, pull, I ask questions, I pull cards, I tell you what the code means and what it makes me feel. So, this Ace of Swords is about a new beginning. Clarity. Truth. The Magician. This is an energy that manifests whatever it desires. It could also be like a trickster. So, Feline could feel like... She was always honest with Anne Berlin about her intentions, about the relationship that she had with Anne Berlin, how she viewed Anne Berlin, and that Anne Berlin, um, you know, said, yeah, I want to have a new beginning, I want to manifest and create a new version of myself, and Feline is just like, look, I'm, I'm just glad I got away when I did that I escaped this. She could feel like she literally escaped the situation being with Anne Boleyn in a connection. So I want to know what was the relationship between them? Fleen, did you love this person? Was it a a, a relationship? Mm. See, when I see this, and I'll, I'll pull cards and see what comes out, but this makes me feel like she did have a um, feelings for Amber Lynn that she had love for her that's what I hear like I have love for this person but it was built more or revolved around Feline feeling like Amber Lynn needs help right because the six of coin is sometimes like the handout uh, feeling like and this can be about the give and take in a relationship so like Feline could feel <clears throat> like we had an understanding, a give and take, but it turned into me giving, 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 not getting back. So, show me about this relationship. What was the relationship between Feline and Amber Lynn when they were together? From Feline's eyes. Again, general reading for entertainment only. Oh. <clears throat> so, this knight of sword came out. And it came out to the side. And the way it landed on this, it makes me feel like, for Feline, it's like, she feels like, you know, Anne Boleyn, why don't you shut the hell up? Because you always knew that this was a relationship of convenience is what I'm hearing. And, because I'm also seeing on the bottom, this. And this is, oh, and there's that. Oh, look at that. All right, forget it. Are you seriously? Um, for Feline, like this, for me, this has to do with movement, words, actions. So for Feline, she could feel like, what are you talking about, Amberlynn? It, it's almost like I just felt this. Feline could feel like, wow, Anne Boleyn, you just won't quit. You won't quit till you make it. So, like, like almost like you want me to come out and share my side. And, girl, you don't want me sharing my side. Because I, I, I have a feeling that Feline has actual receipts. But that Anne Boleyn is so confident, you know, that, that she knows. Feline doesn't want to show her face or talk about this. Feline just wants to go be happy and live her life. And be done with this hot mess. This person that she feels like needs help. She feels like Anne Boleyn needs help. Alright? She's a broken person. She's not happy. She's never going to be happy. Um, Felinka feel like during the time that they were in a relationship. Alright? That Anne Boleyn, what are you talking about? Like you always knew. We talked about this before we got together. Before we moved in together. That... I was never going to be just with you, all right? That this was a relationship of, like, mutual beneficial type of thing. Uh, and, like, I mean, this, for me, could represent third parties. So, like, you know, there was a discussion about that this is going to be an open relationship with other parties involved or... Or, like, you can go and say whatever you want on your little videos or whatever. 
but I'm here to help you create a better version of yourself, a more grounded energy. I'm helping you get back on your feet almost is what I heard. Like to find your happiness, to not be such a hot mess, to not feel like you're all alone and left in the cold. If you want to go and, and you know, make your videos and act like this is like my perfect relationship and this is my new beginning and my dream come true, you know, that's on you. Because I was always in and out. And you knew that. The, this knight of sword energy, they can be very back and forth, all right? Now, these are the two cards that... Oh, this was under... Oh, wow. All right, so we have the pages of wands. So for me, this is someone that is, like, in the moment. So Feline could have actually verbalized to Amberlynn. They could have had a conversation when they started their relationship. Where Feline is like, look, man, I'm here today. Let's just worry about that. Um, like, I'm not trying to discuss years from now. Or she, she could have even been like, look, I do have feelings for you. As, a, as one human being feels for another. Right? But I don't think... I don't think she ever... Like, presented it to Amber Lynn. Like, I'm your one and only. No, she's always going to be in and out, back and forth, and that's part of what was what was hidden. So, so we have the moon and the sun. This could say this says a few things to me. One that Feline feels like, or felt like, because I'm looking at when they were in the relationship. Like Amber and I are as polar opposite as the moon and the sun. All right. But Amber could have looked at it like, no, but opposites attract. Mm, I love you. Um, this is also about things that are hidden. This is about things that cannot be hidden, okay? When everything's brought to the light. So what I just felt is that Feline could have felt like Amber Lynn hid things from her. And it came to light. Things came out. The the truth can be hidden for it can't be it can, it can only be hidden for so long before, before the light of the sun you know exposes it all. So this is making me feel like there were certain things Amber Lynn may have been hiding from Feline. That Feline just felt like, all right, now I know the real truth. You know, I even as I'm holding this, feel like Feline may have felt like Amber Lynn tried to hide who she really was. So, will Feline ever come out and, like, tell us her side of the story? Because, man, I would love to hear from her for real. Will Feline ever come out and tell us, like, what happened in that, her side of, the, of things? No. This says to me, no, for a sword. So, Feline could feel like, look, man, yesterday, that, that was yesterday. I've already healed from this. So, for Feline, because this is a person that we usually say they're quiet, they're, they're resting here, but this is someone who is healing. Or, you know, they've been through a battle, and now they're healing. They're put, they, she, Feline already put to rest this whole thing. She don't want to, she, no. That's what my cards are saying, all right? Um, that's what I see there. If you guys have questions that I didn't ask, that you want me to, leave it in the comments and let me know. Um, again, if you're not subscribed and you want to support what I do here, please consider doing so. If you want to donate to me, you can buy me a coffee. And if you want a personal reading, please send me an email. Um, that's what I see there, guys. Love you, and we'll see you next time.